mid-October and as we can see it's still beautiful conditions for course fishing on this great loch. The major change to this loch since 2012 has been the provision of wonderful access where you can now access 220 pegs parking adjacent to your peg. Added to these 220 pegs we have a further 80 pegs which traditionally yielded marvellous catches of fish and are still available to pleasure anglers. Due to its enormity covering 1,000 acres this is an all-year fishery. While the initial development targeted international eventing this has now become a specialised area for large matches, big festivals and in particular leisure and pleasure angling. All course angling disciplines are implied here mainly feeder at middle to short range, long pole charge line and indeed whip and waggler. So I'm on Loch Muck now today and there's hundreds of pegs to choose from but this particular peg it's about 35 foot deep and there's a good head of skimmers out there and hybrids which you know you can catch quite easy. I've been fishing the feeder out there and also I've been feeding close in you know on the whip line there's loads of feeder rigs and different um, methods of rigging it up, but this is just a dead straightforward, dead simple free line rig. This and it's just got one little stopper there, which is a stopped 18 inch below it, swivel, and there's just a short hook length there, like that. That's to stop the bait spinning up. Well, this is so simple, and, it's, and it is tangle free, no problem. You know, it's dead easy to fish with. It's like originally how they started years ago. Well, it's deadly method because the fish, when they're feeding, they come right down the feeder and your bait's only 18 inches to two foot off it, like, you know, and you get loads of bites on it. I'm fishing 30 metres out on the, on the feeder at the moment, but I keep feeding the, the whip line, which is about eight metres out, six metre whip. And it's about 10 foot deep and, uh, just keep coming back on there and catching a good few fish and then go back on the feeder like, you know, enjoying myself. Getting the best of both worlds today. It's a gram and three quarter rig this I've got on. My was my Olivet's about two foot up the line. And I've got three small droppers there. Three small droppers, just evenly spaced out. Because when these eyebreds are feeding, they'll take it just on, on what you call on the settle. And I've got a size 15 hook there, dead simple, dead easy. It's a Robert Test float that one I've got on, and uh, they are good for this sort of whip fishing. Like, there's no, you know, dead easy to fish with, dead smooth. See every bite with them. Is that what's going on there now? <laughs> 